This question says point P has coordinates 3, 4, point Q has coordinates A, B. A line perpendicular to PQ is given by the equation 3x plus 2y equals 7. Find an expression for B in terms of A. If you want to give this question a go, pause the video now. For this type of question, I usually want to draw a diagram to get a picture of, of what I'm trying to find. So if we draw our axes, and then we have some line PQ. Now Q could be anywhere because it has coordinates A, B, meaning they could be any numbers. But let's just make up a line. Let's say the line looks like this. And P is 3, 4. So that would be about here. And Q, again, that could be anywhere on this line. Let's just say Q is down here. Okay, and then we have a line perpendicular to PQ. And that has an equation 3x plus 2y equals 7. Now we can actually get a pretty accurate idea of what this line looks like because we have the full equation of it. So we could rearrange it in slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we've got 3x plus 2y equals 7. First we want to take that x term onto the right hand side. So it would be 2y equal to negative 3x plus 7. And then divide through by 2. So this would be y equal to negative 3 on 2x plus 7 on 2. Okay, then we know that the y-intercept is 7 on 2, or 3 and a half. So that would be up here. And then our gradient is negative 3 on 2, or negative 1 and a half. Um, so, well, that's like something like that. Anyways, it has to be perpendicular to PQ. So now we have our diagram. We have this line PQ, and we have a line perpendicular to it. We know the gradient of this line. It's in this equation. Negative 3 on 2 is the gradient and they are perpendicular, so that tells us the gradient of PQ. Remember, perpendicular lines have gradients that are negative reciprocals of each other, so we know the gradient of PQ then. So let's go ahead and write that down. This will be the negative reciprocal of negative 3 on 2, so that negative becomes a positive, and we flip those numbers around, so this is going to be 2 on 3. Now we have the gradient of PQ, we have a point on that line, that's all we need to find the equation of a line. We can start off by saying the equation of PQ will look like this, y equal to, well firstly let's write out y equals mx plus c, m being the gradient, this is going to be y equals 2 thirds x plus c, and now our job becomes to find c. There's a couple ways you can do this. What I usually suggest is plugging this point into this equation, but I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. I'm going to use the point slope form of a straight line. So we can say using 3, 4, which was the point on that line, uh, y take y1 equals m multiplied by x take x1. This is the point slope form. Now we plug in these points for y1 and x1. So y take y1 is 4, and m is the gradient, so that's 2 on 3, multiplied by x take x1, which is 3. Okay, now go ahead and rearrange this in slope-intercept form. So this will be y take 4 equal to 2 thirds x. 2 thirds times 3 is negative 2. And then we want to add that 4 to the right-hand side, so this will be y equal to 2 thirds x. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Okay, now we have the equation of PQ. Let's go back to the question again. We want an expression for B in terms of A. Well, B here is Y, and A is the X coordinate. So we want to plug those in for Y and X in our equation of the line. So we would say then that Y is B, X is A, so we'd have 2 thirds A plus 2. And again, going back to the question, it says find an expression for B in terms of A. That would be our expression, 2 thirds A plus 2. Okay, so that's my final answer there for five marks. This is a question from the 2018 exams. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.